Hi, welcome for our RTL online trainings and placements. Now we are entering into the second quiz for uh, financials, vision financials. Let's enter into the quiz. The first question is, which task we will enable journal approvals? In which task we will enable the journal approvals? So we know that approval management is very important and in financials, supply chain management, human capital management, everywhere we will use the approvals. But when it comes for the financials, we'll be using the approvals in invoices, suppliers, as well as customer transactions, payments, and also for the journals. In which task we will enable journal approvals? What is the task name? Is it manage approval group? Is it manage journal source? Is it manage primary ledger? Or specify ledger options? In which task we will go for enable? Manage approval group is something different to create the groups. This is to create the sources only. And this is to create the ledger. In specify ledger options, we are going to choose the ledger name. There we are going to enable the checkbox saying that journal approvals are required. So there is a checkbox in this task, specify ledger options. When we choose this task, system will ask you to select the primary ledger, select the ledger name. There we can provide the approval option for the journals and other options we have setups like intercompany transactions and other document sequence number enabling this all. So this is the right answer. Now the second question, can we enter the journals if the period status is future status? We know that when we are defining the ledger, we'll define the calendar. Calendar will have group of periods. And these periods are open status, closed status, permanently closed, future enterable status or future status. For example, your period is future status. In that time, system will allow you to create the journals or not. Yes, we can do the creation of the journals and also we can post it. We cannot enter the journals, not possible. Yes, we can create the journals. We can create the journals, but whatever the journals we have created, that will be converted to the suspense journals. That will be converted to suspense journals. So these are four options we have. The first one is, yes, we can do and posting also. Posting not possible. We cannot post the journals in the future period. We cannot enter the journals. It's not like we can enter the journals. Third option is correct. We can enter the journals. There won't be any problem. It will not go into the suspense account. Because suspense account, if the debit amount is not equal to the credit, if entered debit is not equal to the entered credit, that time that particular journal goes to suspense journals. Okay. So now we can say that, yes, we can create the journals, but we'll not be able to post it. Only we can do posting if the period is in open status. That's the correct answer. Let's enter it into third question. Which one is not the value sets? In the below four options, which one is not the value set type? When we are working with uh, Fusion ERP, value sets, flex fields, lookups. Simple topics only, but important. We'll be, we'll be using these value sets while working with the flux fields. And lookups, of course, everywhere we will be using when we want to populate some list of values. That So we have total six different types of value sets here mentioned. So one of the value is not actually the value set. Is it ADF controller? Or is it table? Or is it view object? Or is it independent? Which one? So ADF controller is not the value set because we have table value set to get the values from database table. We have view object. In ADF itself, it's a view O is there, view object. View object means internally it's a SQL query, which we will be using to get the data from database. It's almost like a table value set. And independent is 
to provide the static values as list. So ADF control is, is not the type of value set. It's the correct answer. Now we are entering into the fourth question. Below, which one is not the rule? Role is one of the important uh, concept, security and roles. And we have different types of roles. Of course, we'll be working with the roles. We'll be creating the roles. And we are going to copy the roles and customize the roles. Whenever we are trying to create any role, definitely system will ask us what type of role you are going to create. Is it duty role or job role or abstract role or LDAP role? Four options are there. But what the question is, out of this four, one is not the role type. One of the option is not the role type. That is not at all a role type. So duty role we have, job role we have, abstract role. We do not have any role called LDAP. We don't have any role called LDAP. So we can choose this. That's the correct answer. Now the fifth and last question in this quiz, can we create a business unit without ledger? Can we create business unit without ledger? For example, we are configuring the enterprise structure manually. We can configure enterprise structure in two ways, right? One, we can go through ESC, enterprise structure configurator. In the same page, it's like an interview model, wizard based. There itself, we can configure all the organizations. Another one is a manual process. Most of the implementations when we are working, we will go ahead with the manual process configuration of all the organizations one by one and we'll define the hierarchy. Now the question is here, can we create a business unit without ledger? I have not created ledger so far, but I want to create business unit directly. Is it possible or not? Yes, it is possible. Yes, we can create but we cannot assign this to legal entity. No, we cannot create a business unit without ledger. First option also is correct. First option also is correct. But the second one is perfect. Yes, we can create the business unit, but we cannot assign to legal entity. If you want to assign your business unit to the legal entity, Make sure that your ledger is already created and your ledger is already associated with the legal entity. Then only you can do that. That's the second answer. Of course, first answer also is correct, but I'm going ahead with the second. This. So this is about uh, the second uh, quiz in Fusion Financials. Please subscribe for our channel to get the latest cloud interview questions, as well as the real-time training and placement mock interviews, how to clear the interviews. We are one of the best institution to provide the placement training, especially interview point of view, how to clear the interviews, how to prepare for mock interviews, providing the assignment in financials, human capital and supply chain management. Okay, thank you.